Hello, I'm Elizabeth with the Newport Historical Society, and today we are speaking with Mr. Nathaniel Bird, who was a bookseller in 1769 Newport. Good day, Mr. Bird. Good day. Now, could you tell us about what life is like in colonial Newport uh, in 1769? I understand that there's something called the non-importation agreements that are in effect. How has that uh, impacted you? Well, that's just been absolutely enormously uh, impactful on my uh, business. See, they cover uh, tea, glass, uh, paper, uh, painters, colors, and lead. And, and I deal in paper since I'm a bookseller, so that, that's just absolutely uh, decimated my business. I, I looked to try to sell my shop about a year ago, but unfortunately no one was able to buy, so I've had to just try to stick it out. But it's just been very difficult to even try to just stay in business. Interesting. Now, are you? Um, where do your political sentiments lie? Do you support the king and the crown, or do you favor the Sons of Liberty? I don't want to say this out too loud, but I, I, I'm going to say I support the Sons of Liberty because they are working to try to get these uh, these uh, hated acts removed, uh, get them repealed, because it's just these are just absolutely uh, decimating our uh, business, and we just like to you know be able to get back to business. Uh, trade is so important to every. Uh, everyone here in uh, Newport, to the entire uh, livelihood of our town, a free and open trade. Well, thank you for sharing this insight. And if you are feeling the quarantine boredom, visit NewportHistory.org and ShopNewportHistory.com.